Welcome to today's video lesson. I am excited to dive into this topic and share valuable insights with you all. Whether you are new to this subject or looking to deepen your understanding, you are in the right place. So let's get started and make this learning journey together. Forwarding proxy is one of the proxy type. Today in this lesson, we are going to see forwarding proxy. Let's get started. Proxy server is an application or a server that acts as an intermediary between client and other servers on a network. When a client makes a request to access a resource on the internet, the request is first sent to the forwarding proxy server, which then forwards the request to the appropriate server on behalf of the client. The response from the server is then relayed back to the client through the proxy. So this is also known as forward proxy. Why do we need proxy solutions? So forwarding proxies offers a range of benefits such as anonymity, caching, content filtering, and load balancing. Anonymity hides the actual user information such as IP address and other information. Caching, it acts as a cached server. It delivers content quickly without connecting to the origin server for static web pages. Content filtering is one of the security feature enterprises and other organizations like to implement in their corporate policies. Example, they like to block unwanted websites. They only want to allow what they want to do with, you know, business with. Load balancing is another example for a large user base. They like to load balance the traffic across different ISPs or proxy servers. These are commonly used in corporate networks, educational institutions, and other environments where control over network traffic and user access is important. As we know the forwarding proxy use cases, this forwarding proxy broadly classified into two types based on the deployment, explicit proxy and transparent proxy. Explicit proxy client-side configuration needs to be done the proxy address and the proxy port number must be configured on user browser settings. Individual applications can be configured with the proxy servers and which provides granular control as we can select based on application browsers uh, can be routed via explicit proxy. So explicit proxy must be reachable from end user machine so that this can be configured based on requirement. Next one is transparent proxy. Transparent proxy, no client-side configuration required as this intercepts the traffic and network routing happening at router or firewall level, totally transparent to the user. User side, no configuration required. When user initiate uh, traffic, it go to router or firewall then it, it get redirected to proxy server so user side no configuration is required network level and all traffic can be route sent via transparent proxy this can act as a network monitoring tool as well in this section i am going to explain how explicit proxy works you can see from left side users in office LAN network multiple laptops connected to switch in this laptops or desktops proxy settings must be configured so the right proxy server and port number needs to be configured this can be pushed via you know group policies or SCCM or any centralized uh, config management tool so users connected to switch switch is connected to router or respective gateway from this gateway proxy server is reachable so in this proxy server, for authentication, there is an Active Directory or any SAML-based IDP must be integrated and DNS server must be configured. So then these proxy servers connected to direct internet uh, or, or after there is a firewall and that connected to direct internet. When user open a browser and try to visit a page, the traffic flow would be, it send proxy connect request to proxy server from user machine 
then the http proxy connect request lands on proxy server proxy server performs dns request to dns server then it it gets the ip then it connects to the origin web server meanwhile the authentication service would provide content filtering and it helps to identify the user who is accessing what is being accessed how long being accessed such logging mechanism available in many of the proxy solutions next one is transparent proxy transparent proxy as the name indicates transparent to users there is no proxy configuration from user machine is required user machines connected to office switch and user machine has access to directly to the dns server when user initiate a web page access from browser example.com it goes to dns server and it gets the public ip then user machine trying to initiate a traffic on port 80 or 443 when this request lands on their router it might have a policy based routing forward all 80443 traffic to proxy server as a next hop then it go to proxy server proxy server validate the user who is accessing is that user is um, allowed to access or it must be blocked the access so based on policy set it apply the policy then if it is allowed it connects to the internet if you noticed one major difference in transparent proxy scenario user machine has direct access to dns server so if you look at explicit proxy this is one of the difference in explicit proxy scenario without lan dns requirement we can still provide internet access in this lesson i just put major differences between explicit proxy and transparent proxy first one configuration perspective explicit proxy configuration is required transparent proxy no configuration required granular control explicit proxy gives you more granular control based on application browser you can route the traffic to proxy but transparent proxy is in network level so it's a centralized control over network deployment individual application system possible in explicit proxy transparent proxy is network wide interception performance wise performance less latency because of direct routing and explicit proxy transparent proxy might add one additional hop that might adding some latency these proxy types tracked in rfc 2616 hope this lesson is useful and informative thanks for watching